woke up. I had a late night last night, so I decided to let myself sleep in. So today I'm going to show you my morning routine, what I like it to look like. This is definitely not what it looks like every day. So let me show you the books that I read last night. Well, I didn't read all of them, but the books that I've been reading before I go to bed at night. I used to be someone who only read one book at a time, but now I'm reading like three, four, sometimes even five books at a time. So these are my current babies. I love them and I'm enjoying all of them so thoroughly. This is A Season for Second Chances. It's a contemporary romance set in Scotland. Actually, I <laughs> can't even be bothered to remember if it's England or Scotland. It's one of those two. I think she's from England and goes up to Scotland. She starts working at this seaside cafe and meets this man and they are so good for each other, but they don't know that yet. It's like a Hallmark movie in a book and it's so sweet and lovely. I'm really enjoying it. And then I'm still in the middle of reading The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. I originally picked this one up because I saw the trailer for the TV show starring Anna Taylor-Joy, who I love. And I knew that I had to read the book before watching the show. It's about a girl who moves to Amsterdam in the late 1600s to become a wife of this illustrious merchant. And while she's there, he presents her with this wedding gift that's this cabinet sized replica of their home, which is a bit strange. So of course she decides she wants to fill it and furnish this little cabinet sized house. And she hires this miniaturist who creates tiny versions of uh, like everyday items, but in kind of an eerie way. Don't know why she chooses him, but she does. And then some strange things start happening and there's some correlations between the way that she furnishes this cabinet sized house and what actually is going on in her actual real life house. And then this one, oh, this is my winter Bible. That's what I call it because as winter is approaching, we're about a little less than a month away from the first day of winter. This is The Christmas Chronicles by Nigel Slater. If you're like me and a struggle with seasonal depression and you want something to help you really romanticize and enjoy the upcoming season, I Highly, I like, I cannot recommend this enough. It's full of recipes to make during Christmas and the rest of winter, but not only that, it has a lot of stories from Nigel's childhood in England and how he didn't used to love winter, but now he does because of these experiences and the ways that he started to look at the season, the icy prickle across your face as you walk out into the freezing air, the piercing burn in your sinuses like wasabi, your eyes sparkle, your ears tingle, the rush of cold to your head is stimulating, vital. There are sections and tips for taking walks through the snow, being out in the cold, coming in from the cold, the drinks that you can make when you come in, and how to romanticize the feel of the warm house after a cold wintry walk. So those are the books that I have been reading and really enjoying. And as for what I'm wearing, I love this nightgown. I've said it before and I'll say it again, it makes me feel like a Victorian ghost. This should be haunting. Some manor by the sea on a big cliff. I got this one from YesStyle and it's actually really, really comfortable too. The fabric is really light. So if you do want to invest in a nightgown, I do recommend getting one that isn't gonna make you feel really hot while you sleep. One of the first things that I do every morning is drink a ton of water. So let's go get some water. I'm so thirsty. water first thing in the morning. It just, it makes me feel more awake. So I'm gonna stay in bed a little bit longer and do some reading and I'm gonna put on my headphones and listen to some nature sounds because living in an apartment on a busy intersection, we don't get to hear birds. We get to hear cars without mufflers. I'm also going to open up the window. The air kind of just starts to feel, I don't know, a little bit stale. So I like to open up the window in the morning. Okay, we're gonna dive in. continue on with my morning routine, we need to talk about my new bedding. I've been wanting washed linen bedding ever since I got into cottage core. I had heard about Brook Linen Bedding before, which is why I was so thrilled that they reached out to me to want to work with me and sponsor this video. So we're going to jump back in time to yesterday when I got the bedding in the mail. My dream bed sheets have arrived. So these are from Brooklinen and they are very kindly sponsoring today's video. So huge shout out to Brooklinen. I am their biggest fan. 
even though I haven't used these yet, I already know. Brooke Linen is known for having extremely high quality bed sheets, which is why I said I'm already a fan that I'm already gonna love them because I've heard so many good things. Usually high quality bed sheets are really expensive, but Brooke Linen provides comfort and quality at an affordable price. And now is actually the perfect time to check out Brooke Linen because they are running their Black Friday sale and all Brooke Linen items are 20% off. And I will have a link down in my description box if you wanna go check them out. I value sleep so much and so does Jared and that's why we sleep in separate beds at night because we value it so much. So getting nice quality sheets to make that sleeping experience better is definitely something that I value. Brooklyn and sheets are tried and true with over 90,000 five-star reviews, which is more than any other online bedding company. I chose the Linen Hardcore Sheet Bundle, which saves you 25% when you bundle the items together instead of buying them individually. The bundle includes one core sheet set, one duvet cover, and two extra pillowcases. Now, the linen sheet set is a bit more expensive, but they do have an array of options. The classic and luxe hardcore sheet bundles cost between $200 to $250, depending on the size of your bed, which is a huge difference from other luxury sheet brands that cost $500, $600, $700, and you're still getting such amazing quality. One of their best sellers is their Luxe Hardcore Sheet Set. It includes rich, buttery, smooth sheets that are perfect for upping your bedding game. I love that no matter which option you go with, they have an array of colors and styles to choose from. You can mix and match them. I personally chose the sheets and pillowcases in their cream color, and then the duvet cover in their caramel color. I cannot recommend them enough. Literally, even if they weren't sponsoring this video, I would be obsessing over this bedding. I'm in love. Again, they are having their Black Friday sale right now, which is their biggest sale of the year. So you can save 20% off by clicking on the link down in my description box. Don't be deceived by the sunshine. It is actually really, really cold in here. So I am going to light some candles, turn on the fireplace and get in my robe before I go get ready for the day. have to wash my face and brush my teeth first thing in the morning. I use these clips to get my bangs out of the way, which I cut the other day because they were getting damaged from the heat that I used to curl them. And now they're so short and I'm hoping they'll grow back fast. And then this is when I usually listen to my current audiobook. Although with Red Taylor's version being released, I haven't listened to an audiobook for like at least the past five or six days. I'm not kidding you when I tell you, I've listened to the 10 minute version of All Too Well at least 150 times, like at least. I'm talking that's minimum. It's probably closer to like 200 plus. Over the summer, I developed really bad acne and I tried literally everything. And the only thing that has helped is Curology. Obviously this isn't sponsored, but it has truly been the only thing that has been able to help me. Also, I have started using paper towels to dry my face because I saw this dermatologist say how if you use the same towel more than once, it's easy for bacteria to grow on it from the first time you use it to the second time you use it. So if I wash my face with it yesterday and then use it again today, and I've like touched my hands on it at all since then, that can be part of the reason why you might have acne. And so I feel like that's also a thing that has helped me clear it up a bit. I just use clean paper towels. I don't know if it is actually working, but I did notice that my my acne improved a lot when I started doing that, but it's also the same time I started using Curology. So we live in a high desert, so moisturizing is super important, especially my lips as well, especially with winter coming, they get super dry. My holy grail lip product is this Laneige. I hope I'm saying that right. It's this lip sleeping mask. I don't use it just when I go to sleep. I put it on morning and night and it makes my lips feel like a pillow. It clouds so smooth, so soft. I'm gonna do my makeup now and then I'll probably just use my straightener to do some loose curls. I like doing my makeup out here in the room instead of the bathroom because the lighting is a lot better. If we were a movie, you'd be the right guy and I'd be the best friend that you'd fall in love with in the end, we'd be laughing. Watching the sunset fade to black, show the name 
I couldn't quite get the bangs to work super well, so they're just they're just kind of here. They're, we're just chilling together today. So now I'm gonna go get dressed, and I think I'm gonna wear the same thing that I wore yesterday. I love a good grandma core outfit. This skirt is from a local boutique here called Mika Rose and the cardigan is thrifted and the turtleneck is from Yes Style. This necklace I got from H&M and the earrings I got from H&M as well. Now I'm ready for breakfast and I'm so excited because I got a new holiday tea and a mug that I've been waiting to come back in stock for a year and I finally got it. So let's go. breakfast phases where you eat the same thing for a few weeks and then you switch it up so last month it was oatmeal and all different kind of renditions of oatmeal but now this month it's toasts and jams and butters and yogurts and lots of different teas this is my favorite yogurt combo except for we didn't have bananas today usually I always put bananas in it it has granola pecans hemp hearts chia seeds, cow nibs, and then honey on top. And persimmons are in season. I think they're delicious. They're sweet like apples. And then I made my morning tea in this mushroom mug that I got from World Market. I think she is so cute. I mean, it's a mushroom mug. It's, it's so cute. This is my new favorite mug. So for my tea choice this morning, I used this mulled apple spice tea from the Republic of Tea. Kind of a bit like apple cider, but with more spices. It's so sweet and so delicious. I don't know if this is strange, but I usually have three different drinks with my breakfast. I have some sort of juice and then water and a tea. So today I have grapefruit juice, water, and my mulled apple spice tea. Because in between different bites, I might want some water and now I want some tea. Oh, okay, I want some juice now. So at this point, I usually still try to stay off of my phone because I think I'm just much more mentally healthy when I set phone boundaries, especially social media boundaries. I think especially in the morning, that's when you're most vulnerable to your emotions. Like something bad might happen in the beginning of the day and that just kind of throws off the rest of your day. Or if something good happens, or you're just like, or you just feel good in the morning, it kind of just sets a tone for the rest of your day. So since I kind of have that power in my hands of if I'm gonna see something on social media or something in the news or something that might bring me down, I just, I don't want that. I just don't want it first thing in the morning, maybe later in the day, but not when I am emotionally vulnerable and I just need to be taking care of myself. So yes, we don't get on the phone right away in the morning. Sometimes though, if I am feeling anxious or stressed about everything that I need to get done, that's when I will usually play a game. So I've been really into Farmville 3. It's so freaking cute. I think I'm on level 16 or 17 right now. My favorite animals to get are the pigs. I love having my little pig babies. They're so cute. It's just a really, really wholesome game. And then I've also been loving Genshin. Genshin Impact was the game that got me into games. It's the most beautiful game I've ever played. It kind of gives me like the medieval Europe vibe, um, but then there's also the countryside. It's so beautiful. Definitely my favorite game that I've ever played. And then I discovered this new game called, well, it's not new, I think it's just new to me. <laughs> I think it's been out for a while, but it's called Hoa or H-O-A, I um, might not be saying that right, but it's really cute and it gives me all the Studio Ghibli vibes. The music is like, you can't tell me that's not from a Studio Ghibli film. And the animation style is really similar. It's all focused on nature and these cute little creatures. You get to go on little adventures. It's a puzzle game. So sweet, I really love that one as well. And then of course, Mario Kart. That one actually helps if I'm having a panic attack. I just play Mario Kart because it's so fast paced and it has calmed me down during multiple panic attacks before. I love Mario Kart. Okay, it seems to be warming up a bit outside and the sun has come fully out now. So I think I'm gonna take a walk to the library and return a book that is very, very overdue. And then maybe stop and grab some gingerbread hot chocolate on the way home. and it is the perfect temperature outside. It's not too hot, but it's like a bit cold and crisp. 
I love the brisk air on my face in the morning. I feel like it's a great way to wake yourself up first thing in the morning to get outside, move your body around a bit. Just, I don't know, I feel like you get more energized if you move around first thing in the morning. So I'm taking back this book, which is a bit overdue. And when I say a bit, I mean like a month. I'm so bad. I really need to be better at returning books to the library. I get them out and then I forget and it's bad. But I always pay my fines, not that that makes up for it, but okay, let's go. I don't want them to know that I'm bringing it back late, so I'm gonna put it where the cars drop off the books. I write my to-do list for the day and I am going to play with Mr. D'Artagnan here. Also at this point, my neighbors are all awake. It's late morning, early afternoon, so I can turn on Red Taylor's version and not worry about disturbing anyone. No one knows about the words that we whispered. No one knows how much I miss you. And most of what's on my list today is getting set up for Christmas. I think I'm going to put on the holiday. We are going to crank up the Christmas music, but you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that. It's coming in my next video. So I am going to get to playing with this baby and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.